Hey guys, Gal with Common 23 back again with this week's episode of First Watch. Now, um, I was kind of umming and ahhing on what kind of film to watch this week, and I've gone for um, a film that doesn't really need too much thinking about, to be quite honest. I just wanted to kind of just lay back and just watch a film that I might like or might not like. Um, I was going to go for a foreign film, but I don't really kind of, I'm kind of knackered tonight, <laughs> so I'm not exactly, um, not as going for anything that kind of, you know, warrants any kind of, <laughs> any kind of um, concentration. But I've gone for um, Rise and Fall of a White Collar Hooligan. Uh, this is the double pack, but I mean, I might watch both of them, but I'll at least watch at least the first one. And uh, I'm a bigger fan of uh, Hooligan films, actually Football Factory is one of my favourite films. And um don't know if this is going to be any good, but um, most of the uh, hooligan films I do quite enjoy. I don't know what it's about it, I think it's maybe kind of because it's it's both so far from reality and also kind of could happen. I don't know really know what it is. So if I do watch both of them, I'll uh, kind of kind of do them in two in you know, one video and kind of review, review each of them. But... Um, I'll be at least watching the first one, and it's not a good sign that um, both films are on one disc, to be quite honest, but uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, gone for, again, something that I don't really need to kind of concentrate on, just kind of, just kind of watch and just watch, really, <laughs> so I'm really tired, but anyway, uh, rather than for White Collar Hooligan, I'll watch it and give you my thoughts afterwards. <coughs> so yeah, there's the... Um End credits for Rise and Fall of White Collar Hooligan, and I'll give you my thoughts in a second. So yeah, just finished watching um, Rise and Fall of a White Collar Hooligan. It was alright, nothing really good, nothing really like terribly bad. Uh, basic plot is, I can't remember the guy's name, I think it's Mike or Mick, something in there anyway. And basically he uh, is a football hooligan, then at a uh, football game he... Um, he meets an old friend of his who turns him on to the world of um, credit card fraud. And basically, he uh, steals money off people, and he kind of gets in over his head. And uh, he's kind of a, like a series of kind of things. He gets uh, he gets busted in Paris and stays in a in a Paris jail. Then, for some strange reason, they just they just decide to ship him back to the UK without any consequences. And uh, Basically, he continues doing it. Then he gets in with the kind of people that are higher up in the operation, and kind of shit goes bad, and he has to go into the witness protection uh, program. Uh, that's at the end, and uh, yeah, that's a basic plot. Nothing too hard to follow, really. But again, it's nothing more than a kind of kind of situations rolling into more situations. Uh, the acting on the whole was pretty good. Uh, Nick Nevin, who I've seen, he's been quite a few kind of recent British films, he was alright. It's kind of nice, it was pretty cool to see um, a character in one of these kinds of films that actually has kind of a conscience, like he knows what he's, what he's doing is wrong, but he just kind of can't stop doing it. And he's kind of a nice enough guy, just kind of gets in over his head. So it's nice to kind of see, not like a selfish character in the, these kind of like British hooligan films. Uh, he also is in it, um, Simon Phillips, who I'm not really aware of, he was pretty good as the uh, friendly meets. And uh, Billy Murray is the kind of the, the the high up guy who used to be in EastEnders and he's been in uh, Rise of the Foot Soldier. He was he was in, and um, so yeah, he was in that. And uh, who else was uh, Ronan Manukian, who was in it for like not even ten minutes as kind of this guy who kidnaps. Uh, yeah, I can't remember his name, Mick, I think it is. And um, let's say he's only in it for the ten minutes, and he probably his weakest, probably the weakest performance of the film, to be quite honest. I mean, he's not usually a bad actor, but he's not exactly like the go-to guy for really good acting. Really. To be quite honest, who else was there? Um, yeah, a couple of women who I've literally never heard of. Um, so yeah, the acting was on the on the whole was pretty good. Nothing special. Not that you'd expect anything special from a film like this. Uh, some pretty nice um, kind of a cinematog cinematography, kind of different uh, shots. They're going to uh, kind of Paris. I think it's mainly London and Paris. I think. So quite quite nice shots. So the Blu-ray quality was a uh, pretty good. Um, to say that there's two films on one Blu-ray disc, it was pretty good quality. And uh, so yeah, nothing. I mean, he was kind of nothing really to complain about. It was just kind of there. I wasn't really paying too much attention to it. He didn't wasn't 
it didn't flow particularly really well kind of like a load of stuff happened in the first like 40 minutes and like nothing for a bit and then kind of it kind of slows down towards the end so nothing really too special uh, I'm not going to bother watching the second one because um, I just can't really be bothered uh, we're well, not now we're not tonight anyway but uh I think that's about it to uh, mention. I know, God, I sound fucking suicidal, so I'm just really tired. I uh, wasn't really in the mood for it, particularly this week. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Anything else to say? Oh, a couple of things about it. Uh, well, basically, when he gets caught and they kind of ship him over back to the UK with like no consequences and he just carries on with what he's doing, that wouldn't really happen, would it? And basically, uh, when he gets... Um, kind of caught in his witness protection program the uh his friend of his kind of puts well, i think it's like two million i think it's pounds in a kind of a locker in paris and he's in the witness protection program and somehow he manages to them for the hit for them to move him to where he wants to go and then he get goes to this locker and kind of takes all this money and they don't even do anything about it i mean how would that even happen Apart from that, it was alright, saying nothing too special. I can't really give it a star rating, to be quite honest, because I don't really want to. <laughs> but, uh, so, yeah, that's been about it. Uh, so, yeah, that's it for this week's first watch, number 24. And I'm planning uh, nothing something special for next week, episode 25, but kind of a big film. Maybe thinking maybe The Amazing Spider Man or Looper or something like that. But I want to do something special for. Um, episode uh, 25 is kind of a milestone so uh, until then please rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching